We are live with ZVZ action between Hammer and Sickle and Blue Army. We have Snaxor versus MacTep. Okay. And Snaxor is calling the shots here, here for Blue Army. He has decided he's going to show up. Uh, this is his second time in the last month shot calling for BA. He's making quite a show of it today and, and doing a lot of work on a very, very good Hammer and Sickle team. Um, but wow. That turn onto Blue Army might be the end of this event that we're watching here. We might have literally just come in for the end of this, as it looks like five guys just died for BA out of their 20-man team here. That is not good. Uh, they got kicked out of cluster. What do you, what do you think about that, Robin Hood? Uh, this is this is pretty wild right now. Uh, the hill's coming down, but as you can see, it's not a lot, as literally nobody got healed during that reset with a Judy on top of it. Uh, Snaxor goes for the turn on top of Magdapuck and the front line of Hammer and Sickle right here. Not a lot of deaths, but uh, both both sides literally sitting on half HP. Uh, the, the battle here is whoever pulls off the biggest turn wins. But it looks like Hammer and Sickle were able to get a full reset down. All their members are now back up to full HP. Snacks are getting snipe crossbowed. And He's then it's, like, it's over yeah. here. Yep, there goes the yeah. execute by the blood letter. And it's GG for Blue Army, round number one. Oh, round number one for uh, Hammer for this fight here. Yeah, the yep. POE gets the first one. Uh, Mactapak is uh, doing his work. I always thought it's Mactap okay. I yeah. thought it's Ma I thought it was Mactapak. Uh, uh, I've heard it that's both how ways. I yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know, dude. Does it matter? Everybody knows not, who you're talking really. about. Every, everyone knows who we're talking about, right? Uh, yeah. What zone were they fighting in? Sorry, because I went into the hideout zone. They are in Sunfang Ravine. Okay, I think it was and only now, Blue Army, right? It, no, it's Rack is on the field right now, yeah. getting chased by Hammer and Sickle, and Rack is on the retreat here. Let me get a, a name for Bogle. Um, mm. No, hold on. Let me. I gotta find somebody who's a, 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 a tank here. Aggressor just came go. in at, towards the Portland, cleaned up a few CIR guys oh. that were here. Black Order just zoned in as well. Uh, I, I got a, I got a Black yeah, Order. Yeah, you're name. gonna see Black Order in, on the field in just a second. I'm on Gector with Black Order here, and uh, RAQ. You have a, a number of people here. This is a, a crazy fight extending over a number of locations. As we have skulls all over the map, we have bubbles everywhere on the field. This is this, this is a is monster wild. fight. This yeah. is wild. Yeah, this is spread out <laughs> over like this is the Russians going at it. You have hammer and sickle, RAQ and Black Order on the field all at once. This is a rarity. This is awesome. I am going around on just free mode, just seeing fights everywhere as it just doesn't stop. There's there is no center of this fight. There is no main location i mean yes you have the biggest bubble but i don't think that is the only fight wow no, it's it's definitely not the only fight but gactor and the black order guys are marching down onto the squirtel blob actually in between we have aggressor as well uh black order engaging directly onto squirtel's front line deleting that along with aggressors members as well there's there's no mercy these are uh, these Russians are out for blood today, and it seems like there's no let up on the action. Kantarion marching down southwest directly into Skoytel. Aggressor taking casualties from Black Order, but Black Order does not care at all. Uh, there goes another member, and it it seems um, this Russian Empire, literally that is what we have right now, a Russian Empire of Black Order. Rack and Black Knights, I believe they are also a Russian guild. Uh, three guilds in one alliance working alongside the whole entire squad alliance versus PoE. But don't don't let that be like a like a shameful thing because we all know from yesterday's live stream, PoE brought alongside themselves Arch and 1941, including Take Care and what was it Target? I believe showed up yesterday to fight alongside PoE. Yeah, so, it uh, was, um, everybody joined uh, PoE. For <laughs> yeah. It was it pretty was crazy, ridiculous, and we're going to see more of that too. As right now, um, how do you say this? Like it, it's everybody versus dominant. 
in the world right now. Like in the southern half of the world, you have oh, POE, yeah. you have, well, of course, Sun, but you have Derek and Final Order, uh, Bacon's. Arch and newbies all taking on Dominant because Dominant decided to camp the portals with 250 people. Yep, it's 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 pretty wild right now. Like it is literally full blown warfare across the whole entire. Like every every major alliance is pretty much in conflict with one another right now, across the world. Like down in the south and. There's a little bit of action still up in the war in the north, but not as much as we've been seeing because final orders pulled themselves down actually um, to fight alongside the people down here. It's been it's been pretty crazy. It it has been. Um, still got 15 minutes to go until territories are able to be claimed uh, or defended. Vogel, is the stream on? What do you mean is the stream on? Yes, it's on delay. Yes. Okay, okay, because, uh, okay, it's not, there's no countdown, so people are uh, sending me messages. Um, hmm, can you uh, actually chat in the the channel to let people know and on Twitch that we are on delay and that we will be going live shortly uh, as I'm getting PMs from people? People are smart, S-M-A-R-D. Well, right, well, if you, the thing is, if you go to the, the Twitch stream, it just shows that we're offline. So I can understand why a few people are a little confused, but uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so today's action is pretty wild. We do have final shield on Naked's um, hideout in Dry Vein Oasis. It's really one out of four shields on a level two hideout. I'm pretty sure that may be destroyed. I'm not sure if the alliances that are allied that are fighting PoE are going to be able to sustain the uh, attack which will be placed onto that hideout today. Uh, we'll have to wait and see for that one literally probably 14 minutes time. And I'm literally, I'm just checking the war in the north. There is a couple of attacks placed. Uh, I'm not sure if, if Derek's still out. Let me check if Derek's on the field. Derek. Oh, I've got switched over to Derek. Okay, Derek and the boys are masked. Uh, they are not on the field of battle just yet, so nothing to switch over to. But it looks like that action will be happening. I'm going to switch back to Snaxa. See if he's re-geared his men. It looks like he has. He is back in Sunfang Ravine. For round number two versus PoE and the Mega Alliance. He does have a couple of men with him. I'm not sure what the objective here is today. Maybe a River Cops pass. I'm not 100% sure. Or even the territory, just claiming back Sunfang Ravine territory may be a massive play here. It does look like that as Snaxer and the men are starting to clear up guards on the territory. There is a couple blobs spread out across the map here. We do have, what is this on the southwest? We do have take care zoning into the map. And they have a lot of people, holy crap. <laughs> Give me a name here and we'll head over to that. Um, if you want to sit on Snaxer, um, here's that little blue army baby blob that's currently sitting on the territory. Oh, no. Territory, uh, trying to clear guards. That massive blob that just zoned into his southwest. Mm -hmm. That's all of Take Care, all of Last Warn, and Scoitel. You see so what? It's time to get up and get mounted, Snacks, or yep. get on your yep. mount, boy. You know, yeah, press A and you, you do mount up. Uh, that's that's how it works. <laughs> Ooh. That was close. He found, it. he found it. Oh, that was close. Look as the the sea of orange wipes over him now. Just three seconds after he yeah, runs into that. Cluster Q activated almost instantly when that blob zoned in. Wow. Um, Look at this. Look at how many people are here. Where do they even go? They better hope they're not running into a demounted group. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, Blue Army actually... The sex with X is that. in the north here, so... Well, no, they they are running into a group with Sex with X. They are going to demount up here. 
as it does look like they have the forces to contend with this. It does look like they have their own T4 bubble. It does. Um, so Sex of X were actually taking the castle uh, while Snacks are in the men work trying to clear guards in the territory. Obviously, Sex of X and Blue Army are together, so it looks like um, they're going to try and take a castle fight, it seems. Looking at the uh, the party UI, Snaxer's party is literally 50-50 as he is missing quite a few members of his party due to the cluster queue being active. Uh, that could cost him because I believe a couple of his healers are out of the zone. Actually, uh, Kakaroots is a healer. Um, and I think that's just about it, maybe. The others are indeed tanks, I believe, if I remember my members correctly, maybe. <laughs> I'm pushing it here. Uh, King Red, yeah, it, so, okay, so Snaxer's party should be able to do its job and able 2%. to hold at least a side. <laughs> oh boy, Snaxor. Is it a 2% debuff? Yeah, this is, uh, this is going to be pretty, pretty gnarly fight here. Take well, they could be their own clap group is the way you got to think about it. Is you are, yep. you know, the tanking clap group. Just make sure you don't get clapped by Sex with X. Yeah, just, um, I mean, uh, we're, we're looking at uh, the point of view of Snaxer right now. And we see the Kamamas and the Beatles lining up for Scoytel on the east little door. We have Take Care hammering the courtyard doors down. It's, it's a matter of time before... Um, I, I think this group either gets deleted or we see one massive play by this armor group and uh, wipes one side and able to hold their own to allow their reinforcements to come in. Because, well, I mean, look at that. We got, what, a Kamamamuf, a Ballista, a Beetle just on Squirtel's side alone on the East Little Door. I have no idea what's happening to the Courtyard or the West. Uh, we'll have to wait and see here. Once we're, we're still seeing people getting zoned out from Blue Army's side and Sex of X's party here. People flashing gold. Wow, I, I, it doesn't make sense that somebody with, you know, 20 people in their party who had been here the entire time would start flashing and getting sent out. That yep. doesn't seem like the way that a queue should work. Come on. Did I, yeah, exactly. I mean... It's been said before, you know, this you know, uh, queue system's two, not yeah, exactly two great. Versus 15 and uh, they're getting queued? Why? Uh, uh, IP, maybe? Premium no. status? What What? What could maybe. be? Uh, is it still, based on the person who was in the longest gets kicked first, is that still bug still in there? That, that, okay. that, that's still in there. Uh, we don't what? really, wait. wait. That's no? still, yes, it's still okay. in there. Uh, yes. All right, then, yeah, I'll be talking to somebody high level up tomorrow about that. Thank God. Yeah, uh, we, we do see, we were, we were both see aggressor. Yeah, exactly. um, we do see aggressor on the western side flank for this castle. So what we're seeing here is Sex with X holding the east side, lower, Blue Army holding chest room, and aggressor holding lower west. We then have Scoytel holding outside east little door, Take Care holding courtyard. And I'm not sure who's holding West Little. I'll double check. I'm going to guess it's CIR, but I may be wrong. Nope, it's Last Warn. So Last Warn is holding West Little Door. Um, that's pretty crazy. Okay, give me a second. We're going to watch uh, Last Warn, I believe, as it's going to be the most action. I'm going to find you a name real quick. Uh, who's this guy? This guy seems cool. Balhol Baldo. I think <laughs> I, I give you the worst name. Uh, to is, pronounce. If that's how you. If that's how you spell it. Baldo. Yep, that's how you pronounce. That's how you spell it. So he has a last worn Grovekeeper tank on the west little door. They're going to do a little engage onto Aggressive's front line. It seems a bit of back and forth here. Uh, Last Warn's tank's actually sitting at half HP. This guy's taking a lot of uh, dot damage. That uh, Permafrost actually doing a lot of work for Aggressive's side. Um, once again, just trying to get the hammer down. 
it doesn't seem a lot of people do have hammers for this last worn group. Maybe none. Maybe I think they all just got deleted. So West Little Door is safe for the time being for the Squawk Alliance holding inside this castle. Take care, slowly pushing in. There's a couple deaths on the east side. I'm not sure what that is. If you can take a quick peek over there, Chosen. Yeah, I'll go check it out. No problem. As we stick with Last Ward on the west side. That's BA breaking out. Oh, actually, Ooh. I think this is BA breaking in. No, that's that's Snacks or Snacks or is breaking out. So Should if we have you have... Snacks? Yeah, they're fighting Scoyatel. They're getting run over right now by Scoyatel and running back towards the tank as they are kind of overwhelmed by numbers here. Uh, they do have a battle died. mammoth against them. The snacks are maybe dead. Um, it, it was a lot of dudes against him. Uh, I didn't think it was the way. And apparently it's... Tea Party is over the top on the backside of that. Helped crush them. And we do not have many BA guys left to watch. Let me... Uh, no. so Adrena? Um... I'm trying to find a Adriana, name. Adriana, there you go. Adriana is a Tea Party tank, just hunting down the last of the Blue Army. I believe Milkshank is going to die to this right here. And that is... We've got Black Order hanging out now. Black if Order you, coming in on top of uh, Tea Party, pushing down into Adrena. And more Blue Army coming up from the south, but not enough to make any kind of impact. Uh, Tea Party regrouping, just taking a few stragglers here. Black Order and Sex with X over the top. I don't know who they're fighting over the top. They look like they are engaged with somebody else. Yeah, so I hopped over to a Rack member and literally their whole party got deleted as I started spectating them. Um, Adrena is probably the best bet to follow here. Uh, oof, yeah, the a, Black Order player... Bad. Kicking Machine just took down another solo member of Black Order here. It looks like these guys are getting kind of slaughtered um, as they went outside the door and just found themselves completely alone. A uh, few Sex with X still remain inside. Aggressor still remains. Aggressor is actually fighting versus Last Warren still, so we do have yep. a fight over here. If you want to hop over to uh, Skyland TD. Okay. Skyland TD. He is an Aggressor tank holding inside... Getting a little bit rowdy with his uh, Camlan cam mace on the west little door. Sex with X still holding east little door. So we do still have a fight on our hand here. It's not all over for the Squawk Alliance in this zone. Three, three minutes remaining for this territory claim. Or just under actually. Two minutes 30. Um, Aggressor holding on for dear life on this west little door. Sex with X holding on for dear life on the east little door. And uh, this last warn should be able to actually break through soon enough. I believe the health is pretty low. S looks like Aggressor are going to back up onto the second floor here of the castle. As last warn are about to break through West Little Door. Aggressor pulling all the way back into the Lord Room. It looks like they're logging out here with their Command Mammoth. Oh, get out, get out, boy. The Command yeah. Mammoth just hit him with the Say Chat Pray For Me. And, uh... It looks like we're going to be praying for the command mammoth. It looks like everybody's logging out here. I'm going to just check on the uh, HPs of the doors real quick. Oh, it looks like... Oh, 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 never mind. No, they're coming back. They're coming back. They were told to return to the fight. Aggressor, stop logging out. Yep, I, if I, I think... Just, if somebody just came in. That's what happened here. We have... Oh, I can't even see who it is. They're just I don't know, but... A massive like engagement here onto Last Warn on the West Lodo door. I don't think they're expecting that. A good defensive is there by Last Warn. There comes the Beetle. Great counter by the Beetle. Nice stun. Here comes all the follow up damage. Not a lot of deaths from anybody, actually. It seems um, there was one death in that whole entire engagement. It looks like Crimson Imperium Reborn are pushed all the way into the castle on the East Lodo door. Yeah, they are. Seems they're all like, the way um, in and they're pushing. All it's really deep now. They're into the inside against Aggressor here. Aggressor is Aggressor eating needs to wipe this. And there shots. it goes. Massive engagement onto the east courtyard. I mean, east uh, chest room. But uh, Crimson and Imperial Reborn able to soak up a lot of that engagement. Losing a couple tanks, but that's about it. And Aggressor just oh, got Oh, well, look what's going on up top, though. 
kicking machine and it's getting deleted up here and his boys are just melting as they're going down to the eastern steps that was that was brutal that is going yeah. both ways as we are just seeing a lot of a lot of dps going down but i gotta tell you both those giant blobs we saw zone in both po you had uh, uh Skoyatal and cir zone in in the southwest and then you had tea party in the northeast this is not going to go the way of the squawk boys as it seems like they are completely surrounded and very very few places to go for these guys besides home on a cart yeah aggressor are actually able to uh hold the uh castle for themselves for the point tick it seems um okay maybe a little sneaky play there by aggressor because uh i'm pretty the sure that's not their uh that's not their ranking that they're meant to go for nope no it's not theirs that's not that's not their agreement so okay okay well Not agreements anymore. are made to be broken uh but i don't see any mammoth here from aggressor anymore it looks like the mammoth is gone yeah i think they it locked out in the uh the old uh chest room or maybe just escaped to the northeast no it, well i think it was up here in the north when we were watching it log out and everybody ran south and when it ran south it oh here we go Oh, C.I.R. storm it in, and it's and all it's over for that aggressor. Oh, that was oh, that was... log out on the on the old Lord room door here, and that's GG. So uh, the P.O.E. I, I can't even call it a mega alliance because it's more than a mega alliance. They've got what the whole of P.O.E. Uber alliance plus, plus last worn plus take care. And who else? Like, Jesus. Is it neat? A and Arch. Arch are also part of this mega alliance, by the way. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I don't even know. I'm lost for words here, Chosen. That's not a good thing. When Robin Hooders doesn't have words anymore, you know something bad has happened. Yep. I, I, I don't know. I'm going to go check the ward in the north because this seems like it's GG here. Yeah, uh, it's GG down here. I'm trying to see if there's anything left. I've been popping around to some names and I haven't seen anything yet. But yeah, head up north. Um, hopefully we'll get another little bit of action. I do see some death uh, in Flamog Fork, but I don't think it's anything serious. As I think it's just people getting killed in towers. Oh, guy. Blue Army ran into a conflict hideout and it's not working out for them. Um they don't own it. Uh, oh, God. What's happening here? Is this a fight or is this just a cleanup? Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. It's some Poe. Oh, no. Nope, this is definitely a fight. Um, where, I'll give whoa. you a name real quick. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Zoom. Zormori. Oh, cool. Zormir. So it looks like we got... Violets, um, Moon Guards, mm -hmm. Avarium, mm -hmm. and I don't know who they're fighting, but there's a lot of dead bodies on the ground. And looking at uh, the Sancta Inquisito, but surely it's just not Sancta Inquisito. It's Sancta Inqu Inquisito. Oh wow! Mark there, there goes this Soul Scythe onto this Violets group. They're getting. Uh, Pushed back all the way south of this territory. Violets have not nowhere to go. This is. Oh, we've got Sancta to their southwest, Sancta to their northeast. I'm wondering um, who Sancta is actually allied with. We do see a lot of Italian actually to the southeast mm -hmm. as well. A lot of well. Italian, a lot of moon guards, a lot of aim. It's hungry vultures. S so it's it's Violet's Avarium Moon Guards. They're allied. We know that for sure, a hundred percent. But uh I'm not sure who else. I'm gonna quickly check into free roam. Okay. See what's happening. Got it. Oh, we've got Death of the Field. Yep. Uh did it do Target name. Target came in up top. If and, and, oh, Target right is getting melted up here. Day Moon Guards are fighting. We do have Day so we're, Got it. We Italian ver, just engaged onto Sancta on the southwest here of the territory. Good engagement actually by Italian, giving them a lot of breathing room. They're going to be able to wrap around themselves southwest 
hold this angle. Now they have field of view angle on this whole entire alliance. Carpet's coming down. I'm not sure why. There goes the Kaman by Sancta. No follow-up damage. Talion able to re-engage now. They're looking for a big clump. Don't actually see it. There goes the chops from the Halberd by Daisiki. No no immediate damage, no immediate deaths, actually. It doesn't seem like much actually happened with that engagement, just a back and forth with abilities. He needs to be careful here. He is in the middle of a silence. A lot of uh, Sancta on top of him. Talion pushing themselves southeast, soaking up the damage. Look at that Halberd damage just popping out from Talion here. One man army. Just nope. slowly pushing yeah, down. Yeah. Looks like he yeah, may go down here. here. There goes the Galaclap. A lot of bleed damage on himself. He needs to get one heal when he's good. One heal, please, Bliat. Nope. nope. Definitely not. I'm going to hop back over to Z Zormit or whatever his name was. I can't pronounce that, dude. Zamir? Z Zamir. As he's to the north of the territory here, it looks like he's, they're trying to hunt down somebody, but... uh. They're mounting up. Maybe they're flanking around to the southwest. No, it looks like they're just looting. Yeah, they're just hanging out. There's another fight to the north. Let me find who that is. Yep. Uh, so aim just poor. Uh, just target the fight. Yep. Yep. Llama. We have Llama. L A H M A. Llama. 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 That's actually a better spelling of Llama than the actual spelling of Llama. Mm. I feel you. You know, you know what I love to see? 7.1 omelets on a Grovekeeper tank. Round yeah. of applause to this man. Yeah? Is this guy doing it right? Is he He's doing, doing it, right? it right? He's doing it right. And he has... All right, and now we're, we're, we're not near the action once again as the action has moved to the south. Let me see yeah. if I can't find somebody here. As it, the Violets guys we are just watching are now fighting. Yeah, so... This, uh... this target group actually trying to find themselves a position here. Oh, target getting smashed. Oof. Bonzo, like Bonzo Bobo. Remember Bonzo Bobo? I do. I don't. You don't remember Bonzo Bobo? I do not. It's like Llama and his boys are dismounting here. Um, who do you want to jump on? Uh, Bonzo Bobo. Bonzo Bobo it is. He is uh, the party lead for Violets. Running over Final Order, it seems. This group getting completely caught off guard. Oh, Final so Order. Caught, uh, Final yeah, that's Order not a good thing. Fighting yeah. today. My bad. I wish we stuck with these boys. Um, once again, this Halberd build coming in extremely strong in the ZVZs. We, we're pretty much seeing every single melee DPS running this build. Yeah, oh my gosh. If you hop over a Derek, this guy in final order is really leading a, a slick group here. They are using carpets. They are following like progression. They are using... Oh, and as I say that, they get caught and swatted here. And I don't know how many... <laughs> Oof. That's brutal. But this is why they're using carpets. Look how far away they got from the enemy. That was four carpets in a row properly timed. That's really yeah. impressive. A, a cult, uh, the occult carpets are seriously like the MVP of all ZVZ plays. Like, if you have really good carpet placers, then mm -hmm. your Zerg can kite maneuver around the map so easily. And we're going to see Derek and the boys mount up here. Looks like they're going to be flanking around to the southwest. Maybe they're going to go headfirst into that major blob directly west of them. I don't know what the play here, play here is for Derek. Maybe going for that southeast blob, maybe? Right it now, seems... everybody seems to be uh, mounted as Target, Violets, and, Mo uh, and uh, Derek are all mounted up as our Moon Guards. So everybody... Seems to be mounted right now and yeah. looking for a, a bit of action. I, I don't know what's going on here. And some of them are a little disorganized. Final order just ran right through Violets. Yep. And past Talion. So. And so, just like Final Order are running they're... out. Nope. 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 Oh. Yeah. nope. Yeah. Derek's just yeah. watching nope. everybody oh. get through. <laughs> He's making sure all his boys get through. He's doing a good job. Last one out the door. Yep. Come on. Ho hopping over to Bonzulo, whatever it is. Bonzo Bobo. Yep, that's it. And he's just chilling outside the hideout here in this zone. Um, nothing major going on. 
It there was like a it. gank party on the other side that was unable to snag Derek, but they are unmounted as uh, Sanctatorium is here on the other side. And they are chasing now, demounted, and they are just too slow. They got a lot of them. That, that's, I, uh, I, I don't know, man. I wonder, I'm going to quickly check if, um, this one? Yeah. Drive an Oasis. Find no shield for this hideout, by the way. Oh. Um, oh, Bonzo Bobo is, uh, yeah, it looks like, okay, they're, they're running with, av uh, Avarium. So everything seems to be done here. I don't see any more skulls. Everybody is mounted and running out. All right. What was that zone? Uh, driving Oasis. Sun driving just zoned Oasis. in, and it looks like the hammers are being equipped, and it looks like this uh, naked hideout is about to be uh, GG'd. Who's this blob to the southwest? That's Surf, actually. Okay, Surf is to the southwest. I don't know if they're actually going to defend this. Last Warn also alongside PoE for this attack on the hideout. I'm going to pop into the a next zone. Aim for Bogle. Jug with three Gs, Bogle. <laughs> Jug. -g 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 -g. No blob in Stone Lake Hillock. So that, that blob for Tidal, that's all they have on the southwest door. That's for not going to be enough. That will not be enough. Definitely not enough. I mean, they could, they could just well, go head first into that blob and try and count some minutes on this, uh, this hammering because Poe or Sun or whoever's attacking this hideout only have what nine minutes remaining to hammer this hideout down all the way down to zero. So it could be the play. Um, well, it's I'm at 77 now. They're making quick progress on this. And I... Whoa, title just... Uh, I don't think they're moving. Uh, I don't get that feeling at all. Mm. I think title is I, staying right where they are. See, if I was Tidal's shot caller there, I'd be like, yo, we're, we're going for this. You know, it's do or die. You know, we're, we're going all the way in. And if we can buy ourselves a couple minutes, those couple minutes really do matter. Um, you only seen what this hideout go down? What a couple HP, five HP within the time. It's now sixty six. No, no, yep. no. It's 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 going down pretty fast. I mean, it went. It's at sixty five now, uh, yeah. and it was it it was in the nineties when we we got here. So it's uh, it's moving down pretty quick. Um, it's still sixty one, sixty. I mean, this is this is moving. They are yeah. putting down the carpets. The carpet. Yeah. And they're really hitting it work, like making it work. They're doing everything they can do. Yeah, demolition Honor. hammers getting beamed. It's, uh, I think this is all over for this hideout here. I I'm pretty sure Taito could have made a play. Like, they really 100% could have made a play here for this territory, uh, this hideout. Even if it was, uh, like a just a suicide into this group buying themselves a couple minutes because all these people hammering the hideout, they all have demolition hammers out. Mm -hmm. So they have no actual weapons out. And it's, and it's sun as well. Remember no, no offense, but it is sun. They do have three command mamas. So yeah, three command mamas, a ballista and a beetle. I'm gonna hop over to Derek. See what's see if we got any more action. It doesn't seem like we've got much. Uh, Snicker. Find out. Oh, nope. It looks like Blue Army is done. Um, that's like. POE are done. Did they take the castle? Or no. There's not much left apart from uh, 
apart from this uh, knocking of the hideout, I believe. We do see a lot of naked zoning out from the hideout right now. They need to be careful because as soon as they move away from this hideout, I think it's five meters, they lose their protection bubble and they will get wiped. There's a lot of uh, naked standing on top of this, uh, this entrance. Here comes the damage coming out onto naked. Yep, instantly getting deleted. Not a lot of anything they could do. <laughs> uh, see, that that's the problem right there like the protection bubble doesn't last long enough for you to actually defend your hideout mm -hmm. i mean they, they just zoned out probably what 20 30 maybe 40 people you just got they they couldn't do anything because yeah. when they zone out their cooldowns are on 30 seconds but the bubble doesn't last is, long enough doesn't yeah. last long enough yeah so either the cooldown period needs to be shorter or the bubble needs to be longer. And I would yeah. say cool down shorter because bubble already long enough. Um, I mean, in other instances, I find the bubble is quite fine. But when you're trying to defend and you can't get out of your hideout and actually use your skills before your bubble is gone or, you know, like they get to sh hit you and kill you before you get to make a play. Exactly. And that's not appropriate. I, I feel like if you get hit by an, a negative spell, when you don't have skills, you should get your skills. Yep. And there right. it goes. Crumbling into the ground is that hideout of the naked guild. Sun able to uh, take the win here. Cleaning up the remind remainder of the uh, boys inside as they were ported out. And that's GG for them. Um, I don't know what's next for Sun on this mm -hmm. uh, tyrant of attacks because they did uh, just quite wiping a few. Out, wiping out title altogether. I, I believe that um, everybody uh, in this area, in the entire area around these guys, is against them right now. And there is an agreement between Arch, between Poe, between Newbies, between Bacon, uh, Final Order. I mean, it's everybody in the general area is against them to wipe out title. And it's because of a bunch of backstabbing by Dominant, from what I hear, and a camping of the portal for a long time with 250 brave, brave warriors who camped the portal with 250 brave warriors. But I do believe that is the end of our content for today. Uh, well, not today. Uh, end of our ZVZ content for the afternoon. But we're going to be back in uh, not that long, about half an hour, Bogle? Uh, yeah, 19 UTC is the time for the start of the AO Daily Show, where we today have a no patch Wednesday on our show. No patch Wednesday. But what we do have is a one-year anniversary to talk about. And we're going to talk about, since we don't have a patch to talk about, we might talk about a bunch of patches. We might talk about... A lot of things that have happened in the last year and how far the game has come. It's going to be a very much a conversation piece with you, the audience. So if you want to get in on some gold codes, some conversation and a bit of banta, uh, you could definitely uh, join us at 19 UTC. So, yeah, we'll be here with the AO Daily Show and No Patch Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> can, All right. Can I get some gold codes? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, thanks. Enter the raffle, man. Enter the raffle. Yeah. Huh? Actually, I think I owe you some cash. Um, <laughs> all right, and on that note, thank you very much for tuning into the ZBZ show. We will be back again tomorrow with another ZBZ show, followed by the AO Daily Show. So tune into that, and uh, we will see you then. Thank you very much, and uh, we'll be back in half an hour. Bye. Bye-bye.